Hi there, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach vintage and antique lovers how to create successful antique businesses that they love. One of the ways I do that is through these videos. And today I'm gonna to be focusing on farmhouse finds. Let's start with a couple of wooden pieces. Here's a nice old yardstick with nice patina on it would have been a sort of uh, advertising for Paramus Fabric Center. And we know it's a little older because it doesn't have an area code on there. I'm going to call it like 1940s or 50s. And I don't tend to sell a lot of um, yard sticks because I like to use them for projects, although older ones like this, I probably wouldn't really want to cut up. Uh, it should sell for about five or six dollars. Here's a nice little wooden box that I picked up. I'm gonna call that antique, an antique box. It needs a good cleaning and some wax. I have a great recipe on my website for some wood wax. And did I mention it was $3? It was $3 and it has these very weird screws here on the back. I'm just gonna remove those and price it at about $35 to $40. This is an interesting piece right here because, um, because of the stripes. Pig cutting boards sell. This one cost 25 cents. Um, I'm not in love with this side. What I really wanna do is I kinda wanna sand it down to get rid of this orangey finish but I don't know that I'm gonna take the time to do that. In any event, in its current form, it should sell for about $20. Here's the last little wooden piece. This is just a frame that I picked up. It was 50 cents and it does have the glass. It's just nothing to really hold it in there. You can see, you know, the age. I just, I think it's really beautiful and I'm sure I have something to put in there to sell um, for like $15, a print of some sort. Let's take a look at a couple of fabric items that I picked up. I love buying old cotton linens and this is a pillowcase cover. It's got a zipper on the end. I think it's brand new. It says right there, 100% cotton. I think these wash beautifully. And of course, I love the old um, design on, on that. It was $2 and I'm gonna be using it myself. <laughs> I would sell it for about $10 if I were going to sell it. <clears throat> Here's a really nice find. This is a, um, an American flag. You could probably tell that. <laughs> it is humongous. It's five feet by nine feet. And it was made in by the Valley Forge Flag Company, which is a very well-known flag company. And the stars are hand-sewn. They're not the embroidered kind, you know, where where it's the entire flag is thread. This is a fabric or an entire star. This is a fabric star that is um, machine sewn, but nonetheless sewn, rather than it being part of the actual print, the, um, I mean, the entire flag is, is sewn. There's, it's not printed onto the fabric. It's red fabric sewn to white fabric, sewn to blue fabric, so, and then sewn with the, with the white stars. In any event, it should bring, it's in really still um, good usable condition, and it should bring about 40 or $50. That's my hope, 40 or $50, I think. And it cost $5 at an estate sale. And I think I will try to sell it on eBay first. And then if it doesn't sell on eBay, I will try Etsy. Okay, let's look at some pottery. This is a dog dish, but it's yellowware and it's by the Ran Robinson Rand's Bottom Pottery Company. And that's out of Roseville, 
Ohio, not to be confused with Roseville pottery, which is very different art, um, art pottery. This I would date to about the 1940s or 50s and it should bring about 20 to $25. Now here's a piece, tell me if you would have picked it up. It's just, it's a new planter, it's not old. One of the ways you can tell old from new is that most older pieces are finished on the bottom, right? So this was painted and glazed on the bottom and then this is unfinished. In case you were wondering, it actually had a tag, a, a barcode right inside there that I just peeled off when I cleaned it, but it had such a nice yellow wear look to it. In any event, it was 50 cents. I feel like I want to try to sell it for 10 or $12. Beautiful color, right? Very, very similar color. Anyway, that's the story on that planter. Would you have bought it? Let me know. Here's a pretty brown transfer ware ironstone. It's quite heavy plate. And I haven't yet deciphered that stamp. This word right here is Rhine. And then below that, it looks like JFW, uh, but I haven't been able to, like I said, track that down. Perfect condition, it was a dollar. It's worth about 10 to 15. Here's a buy that, I had to stop and think about this because Ironstone platters do not sell really great from me for me from my antique booth, but smaller ironstone pieces do sell well for me from Etsy. So I think I'm gonna try it on Etsy. It is a genuine piece of antique ironstone by Johnson Brothers, as you can see with that mark. What sets this apart from a lot of other platters is it's actually, um, it's not flat, right? It's it's kind of like a shallow bowl. It also has this beautiful leaf, embossed leaf design. I'm gonna call that an anchthus leaf, leaf because, um, I don't know, it just doesn't really look like a specific kind of leaf that I am familiar with. It could be like an oak leaf. Anyways, it's very pretty. It was half off, so it was 250 at Salvation Army. I'm going to try it first on Etsy for about Forty-five or fifty dollars, and if it doesn't sell there, I will put it in my booth for about twenty-five dollars. I tend to sell old ironstone platters for fifteen to eighteen dollars most of the time. They are they are not fast sellers, but like I said, this one is a little bit different, and uh, so hopefully I'll be able to sell it on Etsy if not from my booth. Here's another beautiful piece of ironstone little pitcher um, it's got a floral design on it I'm not sure it looks a little bit like Jack in the pulpit to me but I'm not I'm not 100% sure it was two dollars at an estate sale it has a little damage there a hairline crack but that's it it was made by William Adams and Sons Sun in Sons Sons in England. This is a little bit newer mark, and it is not quite as heavy as most earlier ironstone. So I'm going to date this to about 1900. And I paid five dollars for it. I think it should sell on Etsy for about sixty. About sixty. That's what I'm going to try it at. Anyway. And speaking of ironstone, I should have taken this out of the plastic here. I'll do that. This is one of those uh, stamp, I don't know what you call them. You put water in it and then you roll this wheel and you can, uh, it will wet the back of a gummed stamp. Made out of, I, oh, I just dropped a little plastic thingy. <laughs> Ah, it's wooden. So this little wooden piece holds the roller in place so that you can roll it like that. It is marked on the bottom. It's Wilson Jones Co. Chicago 
USA. I'm going to date that to about the 1930s or 40s. And oh my gosh, it's so solid. I paid a dollar for it. And I would like to price it at about 50. I think it's really, uh, I haven't seen one quite this large. And um, yeah, so that's my hope. I like that piece. Another little ceramic, little duck. He was 50 cents. Signed USA on the bottom. If you can see that. And he should sell for about 10, especially around Easter. Here's a marmalade, an English marmalade jar, which I was so excited about. It was $5. It is marked on the bottom, um, England. It's insized, so it's hard impressed, so it's hard to see there. These are uh, quite collectible. This one is a little bit newer. I have an older one here. This is one that I, I'm keeping for the moment, just so you can compare, see how the they have changed, how the graphic has changed over here. I'll let you see a little bit longer how the graphic has changed over time. This one being a little bit newer and um, it should nonetheless sell for 40 to $50 on Etsy. I picked up three perfectly rusted graders. I love the, the uh, half moons here on this, the side of this one. And then this littler one, they were a dollar each. And I'm going to sell the larger ones for 12 to 15 This one has Bronco in, uh, embossed on the side. Um, this one doesn't have a name on it. And they are super neat when you put a candle under them. And uh, a lot of people like to do that. I just, I think they're wonderful. Did I say how much I think they're worth? I think they're worth, I, yes, I did say that. 10 to $15. Let's say that. The smaller one, more like 10. I picked up a kind of beat up kettle. It is an actual fact. I could um, see behind all this rust. It's a piece of early Revere ware. See the riveted handle there and this uh, almost Bakelite. I, I should test that. Bakelite handle uh, and finial on the lid. Great shape. It was a dollar. And I, I can't you just picture a plant coming out of there? I, I just think it's really cool and I hope 25 to $30 for that. And then the final piece for today is very nice enamelware pot. I'm going to call that a pot. A, a bucket. Here we go. Enamelware bucket with this great aqua and white swirl. It is not in perfect condition. Right? It's got some issues there on the bottom. I did pay $10 for it because. I just think it is a wonderful decorative uh, piece and it should sell for about 40 to $50. And that is the final find. I hope you enjoyed today's farmhouse finds. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up, leave a comment or subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And as always, happy hunting.